Hey, in this video, I'll show you how to really quickly add a simple timer like this to your Zoom app so you can facilitate activities, so you can um, do journaling uh, exercises and make sure that all your participants know when the time is up. Or if you just want to do introductions and want to make sure that each person shares the same amount of time. So let me show you how I've added that to my Zoom app. Um, first, you want to go to the Zoom website because the way we're going to use this timer is through the Zoom apps that just have been released on July 21st, 2021. So this is today, this morning, still brand new. Um, you can find all of the apps if you go to marketplace.zoom.us and then in the categories, just find the Zoom apps. So in here, you want to go, I think it's on page three. There's a bunch of other cool things you can install, but you want to find the timer by Zoom. Once you click that, um, you can kind of read a little bit more what it does. And on the top right here, there will be a button that says add to Zoom app, which I have already done. So it already shows as installed. Uh, once you click that button, it will take you to a separate page where you have to authorize some, in, um, some permissions. So these permissions actually uh, will be something you need to authorize. You need to be logged in to your Zoom account on the website, the same one that you're going to use in your app. And then it will prompt you to go back to whoops, the app. And this is where you will find this new button at the bottom of your app. Uh, this is what it looks like. It just shows apps. If you don't see that button, you need to quit Zoom and up, uh, restart it again to, so it resets. Um, also, if you don't see it pop up, make sure that you uh, check your Zoom settings. Oh, hold on. We are supposed to be here. Check your Zoom settings. We're in the uh, top bar. There's a new tab that says Zoom apps. And make sure you have this Zoom apps quick launch button enabled. This will make sure that you see it. And then once you see this button, you will actually see a bunch of apps that you have installed. If you only have one, it might only show that one. Uh, but you will have this timer here. And I'll actually show you how it works. Let me just reset that. So one way to start the timer is by simply adding a time by clicking the up down arrows. You can also type something in that is faster. Um, actually, it's not letting me. Oh, there we go. Type something in and then just hit start. Right now, this timer only shows up for you as the host. So this is not visible to your participants. Um, if you want your participants to see it, you can click this share button up here. And there's two options you can share with no audio or with computer audio. And I'll tell you why. Because at the end, once the timer is done, it will actually play a little sound, which I think is not super distracting, but also a good thing if everybody's journaling with their heads down, they're not really paying attention. So I highly recommend sharing computer sound for this. Just make sure nothing else is playing on your computer that might be distracting. Um, let's reset that again. The other way to do it is we have these preset buttons down here. So if I'm like, let's take five minutes to think about your answer, go. And it actually says uh, also what time it is on the bottom. And I love how it animates this circle kind of going around. If I want like, let's do 10 minutes, we'll do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 15. 2020. So it's really, really quick. Um, the cool thing, two cool things. One is if you just want to use the timer for yourself, but you feel like it's taking up too much space, you could come up here and click pop out. And now you can actually move this window around and maybe make it a lot smaller. I know it doesn't look so great, great like this. Um, but maybe something like this would work or something like this would work. And then I can just stick that somewhere in the corner here. 
right? So it's not, not taking up so much space. The other thing is you can share this timer with your participants. So if you want everyone to see um, the time as it's ticking over, um, let me actually quickly go to my participants view over here and close the app so you see what it looks like when it, pop, when it pops up. Um, I'm going to click share. We'll go with computer audio. And now this turned into this way here. I think that for participants seeing the timer like this might be taking up a lot of space, maybe not. You can still in here change the, the, the aspect ratio of this. So if you want the timer to be bigger, then it will take up more space on your participant screen. And that's basically how you add a timer really, really quickly. And then you can stop sharing. Um, let's reset. Let's actually put 10 seconds on the clock, uh, which is going to be the end of this video. But that way you can hear the timer and the sound it makes. So. If you appreciate this video, I've created a bunch more about the Zoom apps, the new feature that has come out today. Make sure to check those out and I hope to see you on my channel very soon. All right, time's up. Bye-bye.